Even if we did kill him, we would have been too slow. Just got destroyed on the luck again. They keep adding features to English, which introduces more bugs. Hey! Look, as long as I can use those to speedrun. We have words like yeet now. That is kind of a speedrun of saying, you know, to throw uh, <laughs> with great velocity. Here you are. I've been looking all over for you. I see. My name, Jiminy. Please escort him to the hotel. Cool ones are the languages that have been relatively unchanged for long periods of time due to relative isolation, like like Icelandic. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like in my lifetime I have experienced English change at least a little bit. I mean, maybe not dictionary English, but you know, you can. You can hear the way that young people talk differently than old people. Which makes it very obvious when an old person writer, you know, tries to write a character that is a young person and has no idea how they actually speak. <laughs> Bet. language take English is your favorite language despite its inconsistencies and problems just because it has a tradition of borrowing from other languages and we need to express new things it's a neat complicated melting pot that's unfortunately hard to learn yeah I, I I I mean it's not it is not the only language that does that I mean every I'm sure every language does that to some extent but it is yeah it is cool when you actually use the word from you know the language it, and obviously we're gonna mispronounce it a little bit, you know, our, our tongues are not gonna get the full, you know, karaoke or uh, anime or whatever, you know, but the fact that we use those words to describe those things, I think is, yeah, convenient. Om, tum, and comb, yep. <laughs> It is definitely not an easy language to learn. Although, I don't know necessarily know that it's one of the hardest either. I, like, I think I've been told it's one of the hardest, but I, I don't know. Hello there. I didn't, you didn't. You ought to out here alone. I feel like any language that has a, a pictographic alphabet has got to be harder at least to learn how to write with. If not speak. Not even close to the hardest, yeah. Easier to learn than to master, yeah. And the other thing about English is that mastering it isn't overly important. 
I don't know that mastering any language is overly important, but so you'll have to, lie to, get inside. to at least get your point across, it's not... Like, people will generally be able to understand what you mean. Even if you're not perfect on the grammar or spelling or, you know, vocabulary choice or whatever. The difficulty of learning a language also depends on what your mother tongue is. Very true. The more similar, the easier it would be to learn. The only other language I've attempted to learn at all is Japanese, and that was, uh... The grammar was... Not super difficult, but not easy. Uh... The vocabulary was, you know, it's vocabulary. It's probably going to be similar in a lot of languages where, uh, <laughs> it's a new word you haven't heard before. Memorize it. Um, but the, the writing it out was so nice when you got to write it out in the, um, in the like letters and so terrible when you had to use the symbols that represent the words it was like oh my gosh no please <laughs> i cannot do that i like the idea behind japanese grammar it sounds quite logical yeah it it, it is very logical hey let's be more careful um, the black rabbit brotherhood i hate it's... these guys but don't be alarmed my name is Gemini. We'll talk later, but we're safe. It's... Elysian Boulevard was a regular rich. I can't quite remember the, the sentence structure. I mean I could I could no give some sentences but in the structure. You know, Watashi no Namaiwa Michuris. Yes. But that's like you know, that's a very simple sentence that is effectively just an English structure. My name is Mitra's. Like, <laughs> but there were there was definitely more rules to it than just that. Back out of the way, Strat. It would have been faster if you just tried to attack. Korean is pretty easy as far as any Asian languages go. I... What I know about Korean is that... Entire... Words or syllables or something are condensed into individual characters. Uh... So you just, like, write the character for the P sound and write the character for the O sound, like, together in one symbol to make the, uh, syllable Po or whatever. Other than that, I don't really know how it works. Phonetic, not like Mandarin and Japanese. Well, Japanese is phonetic in two of the alphabets. There's just you a third alphabet like that's very much not phonetic, but the me? other two are. Die! So. <laughs> Curse it. Donkey. It's a donkey, but in all. And we're left at almost full fable. Oh.
whole table of favor. I feel like really hard languages are probably the ones with, uh, what is it, tonal changes? I feel like that would be really hard to learn. So you, you can't just get, like, the, the sound, you have to get the tone, too? I feel like that'd be really hard. Tones are miserable. Oh, no. Holy moly, that was good. He's saying the right words and people don't know what I'm trying to say. Comes naturally to those who grew up with a tonal language. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, bitch. Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely is just, uh, yeah, how you grew up. <laughs> Welcome. I feel like for me that would be really hard. Ah, always speaking, my friend. Remember, be careful. Beware. Can get from City Hall. Good. Yo, oh, thank you for the good luck on the runs. Now that we must, nobody, that's why we're both. That's all I'll use. Nice. Okay, I'm surprised we lost three seconds there. I didn't think the menuing was bad, but we did get a little unlucky on the Sophia spawn, so. The secret to tones is to not try and just speak quickly in complete sentences as I can. <laughs> Make it up as I go and hope the context will carry me. <laughs> The languages have far less people who are tone deaf. Here it is. Oh. Vanini works. Everything you see here belongs to Vanini, the classiest player. I mean, that would make sense. Brilliant inventor in Krat. Just ask him. Not just puppets. Almost every machine and tram in Krat is supplied from here. You gotta be curious about the guy. What kind of person is he? Uh, I wish we could find him. That is. I suppose it also sort of depends on is there, there there's got to be like medical tone deafness versus like you just never really learned or understood uh, or were creeps. taught <laughs> about tones it's okay pal Looking out for you. So probably if there's some sort of medical tone deafness, something literally like physically wrong with your ear or uh, the wiring of your brain or whatever, probably would have no effect. But at least interacting with tones would give you a better idea for them.
Any speaker can understand English from all over the world and all sorts of pronunciation. Rising tone versus downward tone makes me incomprehensible to locals of Chinese. <laughs> yeah. I have a, a friend who's Chinese who, uh, you know, just, just through being around him and him, like, interacting with his, you know, parents and whatnot and occasionally speaking Chinese, it's sometimes like, oh, you know, there's, there's you know, this word. And I'll just try to say it. And he's like, okay, well, you sort of got the sounds of it, right? I was like, well, if I got the sounds of it, did I not get it right then? It's like, no. No, you did not. <laughs> just, just don't worry about it. Come on, Fuoco. Uh, just don't end with the charge. Do anything but end with the charge, please. a beautiful Fuoco. I messed up a little bit of the menuing after, but that was just a beautiful Fuoco. 10 out of 10. No notes. chance 0.01% already it's not 0% yo we got to run that's how you know you got to run started when the pv chance isn't zero You want to go up? Are you? You've been even if it. Child, only the worthy may pass. This is fine. That wasn't what I meant to do, but this is fine. <laughs> that was not at all what I meant to do, but sure. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Pilgrim. Okay.
How does the PB chance calculation even work? It takes a random sample of all the splits left to do, and then randomly does that, uh, I guess it would be 10,000 times or whatever, and uh, basically reports, all right, five of those 10,000 resulted in a PB, so you have, uh, you know, 0.05% chance. When in doubt, let Gemini be your guide. <laughs> you, you, uh, you, you look annoyed. annoyed. What I, I do? do. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's get a move on. If battle. I get hit at oh, any point off. between here and the uh, the mini boss, uh, the run will be dead. Back at zero percent. Yeah. idea what those things are, pal. Approach with caution. We need to get through the end game more times because it thinks that our end game is like two minutes slower on average than it actually is. Because we used to have a really bad end game for all the runs we finished, and then we recently made it actually good, and we just haven't finished happening? many runs since then. What's their problem? And then we literally have finished one oh, run since then, old. so we have, like, one on good Monus on record. So when it randomly picks an ending Monus, it picks 99 terrible Monuses and one good one. Win or lose, this will be our last attempt of the night, so hopefully it's win. If it is, we're gonna be up pretty darn late. But that's okay. start. for the good luck. Okay, we'll do that scary section.
wonder if I could spam those while the menu's coming up and have it work. Probably could. Welcome. This. I shall open. Welcome. Ah, it's a grinder. It's a grinder. Oh, thank you, Melly. Wait just one moment. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on a minute. Point zero two percent. That is pretty good. Minus 15. Fog? I mean, minus 15 is always going to be uh, pretty pog. chance 99.8% fake 100% we're getting it easy Hey, good. Not a perfect uh, archbishop by any means, but a good one. I want to go back to the old crown. Oh, sure, I did. Know. I'm, I'm I, looking. You know, I have a lot of sins here, sir. We're here. I mean, we're still a long way from the end. We're about a third of the way in. Once, Rob was just a small town oh. on the coast of little importance. But, uh, Before it's on a good pace. Built, this place literally, literally was all there was of Crot. But when some in the city prospered, they... So they for this pace, behind. even if we get some bad luck, Through I'm gonna try my my neglect. darndest to uh first to keep the run alive. So dangerous alleys and desperate slums. On a lot of other paces, you on get some really side, bad luck and you just kind of resign yourself and go, like ah well, now. you know it's not worth losing, you know, ten seconds, fifteen whatever seconds what here. I'm just gonna reset. But on this pace, we could lose that and still be in the green. So. As long as we do not fully die, we should still keep on a really good pace. Oh, 
hopefully there are no, you know, 10, 15 second losses, but... Prepared if there are. How can the weapon durability of the rapier be so low? Uh, it's because it's been decayed. From the decay pools in the, uh... In the cathedral. We went through the decay pools with the rapier equipped so that we did not take durability on our main weapon. Well, also because we just have it equipped to run faster. Because we're light load. You could also just have no weapon equipped so that none of them take the decay damage, but... Personally, I like having the rapier. Need to repair that rapier. Don't worry, we did. We repaired it at the Stargazer. Where it was safe. Ugh. Hate that one. Hate, hate, hate that one. boy the right here uh stab animation faster than just dropping down mostly it's kind of the same but There's some situations where it's slightly, uh, better. Oh, God. Okay, saved. Saved. Holy. That was an interesting fight that I, uh, was very scared of, but saved. <laughs> still a pb chance still a chance that was spooky that was yeah no that was that was really really scary Are enemies scaling with stats? No. The enemies don't scale at all. You're back. Why not? Go to I They're always the same difficulty. So if you get stronger, then you are stronger. lose six seconds for that we lost eight seconds for that uh actually probably no you're you're probably right it was six seconds for that and then the other two was uh from getting hit earlier and having to heal
Paulinho e os mães. They do scale with New Game Plus, that is true. because we are now no longer, Rosa you know, on almost the best pace of our life. District. Hopefully, uh, call it extravagant. the Office, universe will see fit to let us <laughs> continue this run. It's a good run, but it's not the, the best run of our life, so. Dress. Oh, she, was she was the most famous, famous of them all. all. The, the legendary Prima Donna. I'm not sure if she's still alive so while the past tense makes sense it's yeah it's getting a little depressing oh i can hear you let's i dedicate this performance to my sister adelina <laughs> Pretty good, white lady, but we did take some damage, which was a little unfortunate. Should be fine. Tank hits like a champ, yeah. I think she has three different types of thrusting moves that she can do. Where basically, for two of them, you react in time and you counter it. And for one of them, you just take it. You just you just get hit by it. That is the strat. And then you counter the follow-up thrust. Because it's a, it's a thrust thrust. Like, I think theoretically it's still possible to counter it. But I always just get hit. Why the weapon change? You run faster with the knife. Uh, you run faster at uh, low equipment load, at, uh, at light load. And the rapier is much lighter than the glaive. I could just fully unequip the uh, rapier instead. That is an option, and that is what some other runners do. But I like having a weapon available if I need to poke someone out of the way, if I need to block something, because you can't block with no weapon equipped. Uh, I like the little poke off of edges sometimes in some situations. It's complicated. We did a whole, like, testing to see when it is and isn't worth it. Um, but yeah. Any news about the Liza P DLC? Not that I know of. Where you were claiming world record from? Yoren. One of the first to get Lies of P hitless, and now world record holder in Lies of P glitchless.
actually. Okay, good enough. I'm good. It's, I'm so now that it's a man. If it will. What's going on? All these puppets look utterly. They're king dead. They. They seem lost. Again, maybe, maybe, maybe they're, they're warning, warning him? him? Whatever's happening, it's like they can't tell their elbow joints from their tail sockets. I'm not even sure they can function without the king to guide them. Oh, good morning. Let's go. I think that line, buy anything your heart desires, is a reference to the... Isn't there like an anything your heart desires? Isn't there like a song in Pinocchio or something? Oh. Basically 100%. Yeah, might as well be. When you wish upon a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Game became easier with the updates. How true is it? Uh, somewhat true. Not untrue. But not, uh, like, mega true. Like, it is... Undeniably true, the game is currently easier than it was at launch. That is that is definitely true, but it's not that much easier. Um, there were two bosses, two, I think it's only two, that were actually nerfed, and the rest were basically just fixed. But fixed technically is easier. Right, a boss that is sort of broken and gives you, you know, no tell for their attacks and literally just, you know, get hit by it without any chance to react. Giving you a chance to react does technically make the game easy. But 90% of the changes have been fixes and then 10% have been nerfs to two bosses. I think it's only two, uh, but someone could correct me. I could be wrong. The two that I remember are Manus and Archbishop Andreas. that actually had their their numbers changed and not just their animations improved. The Grand 
basically, if your only goal is difficulty, then yes, you should down patch for more difficulty. But if your goal is to play a fun, you know, a fun game that feels fair, current patch feels way more fair. <laughs> While still, in my opinion, being a good level of difficulty. I still think this game is quite challenging. Oh, King of Puppets. Sorry, yes, King of Puppets. Three. Yes, you are correct. Uh, Archbishop Andreas, Manus, King of Puppets. Three that were, like, just ridiculous health sponges. Both of these phases HP? No, it was only the first phase, actually. Um... But yes, the first phase of King of Puppets was nerfed. Second phase was untouched. Andreas was ridiculous pre-patch. I loved it, but he was rough. I didn't think he was that rough. But, I mean, I, I can understand why he was nerfed, but I, I didn't think he was that rough. I thought he was fine. Ooh, good spots for Sophia. Hey, it's Sophia. You know that now I have been... I'm... My lord, but, but my family, but that, I suppose... Tony, we're all knees. I'll use my nice. Gold. How dare the devs make a boss more fair and balanced? Difficult should always be absurd. <laughs> Levels of BS. Yes, of course. Good luck, Mitch. Yo, thank you for the good luck. Yeah, I, I, personally, I really like the changes they made. I think they could undo or maybe like halfway undo some of the numerical nerfs. They could, you know, maybe even make some of the bosses slightly numerically harder, you know, potentially for offsetting the um, fairer moves, but I don't think that would be necessary. I, I do think it's in a good state right now, but I think I think you could make it slightly more difficult in that way, and that would be fine as long as you kept the better moves and tells. I think you know, still good changes overall. Charge this time. Let's go. Yeah, it's unlikely that we're going to see him shield wall and back up <laughs> in very much at all in the future. Like, it is a very rare sight to behold. Too late if I tried to do more equips there. I should I should find a way to do them though. I need to get a little faster at the menuing there. Um, actually, can I put them while well, the box opens? Maybe electric. Plenty of time to spare. Uh. 
Okay. Bad menuing. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good victor still. I I I very slightly misremembered the punish for that particular move, but uh That was not bad. Still attached to this run. Unfortunately still attached to this run. According to the guide, We got we got to stop this. We got to stop being so attached. Something, I guess. Ciao, uh, brother. But you call them the Afni. Please, please. <gasps> That's ignore right. them. I won't now. I'll go. take the focus of this game for too long. If you could pick three Elden Ring bosses to fix for fairness, which would they be and how would you fix them? Oh, so that's a that's a that's a long conversation topic. Maybe I can say that while running through the swamp, but that's a that's a that's a hard one. That three? Let's start with one. Let's start with one, and I think the one is obvious because I think it's it's such an easy fix. Well, there's like 10 different ways you could fix her. This if I could place. fix one Elden Ring boss, it would be Melania. Uh, okay, there's no easy way to say this, but uh, you fix her? Graveyard. Goodbye, the waterfowl day. It's just take it, just take it out. Dumpings. Easy. To stop and then I think she's gonna be Eventually, significantly better. Other minor sports. changes make her um, stagger actually function, rather than making it so that if she hyper armors through your stagger, she immediately regenerates oh, all of her stagger, for some reason. Um. Let's see, what else? And, um... Give a bigger punish window at the end of her, uh, like, phantom illusion move. That one doesn't need to be entirely removed, but it, it just, it should have a bigger punish at the end, because you're forced to do nothing for, like, 30 seconds, so... Let me hit her more than one single time. Um, and the, like, triple slash that she does, make that go to a more consistent distance away from the player, so that it either consistently can be dodged backwards, or consistently can't be dodged backwards. If you decide, no, it cannot be dodged backwards, then make her consistently, like, go so far towards you that it doesn't look Tons like you can bargain. dodge backwards. <clears throat> oh, dear. Fair, they say I have a book. You're a worthy. You're a worthy but, uh, don't make it where... Half the time you dodge back, you're safe, and half the time you dodge back, you get hit. Like, that's that's just frustrating. So, either make it so you always can, or you always can't. <laughs> Love her as she is, filled with problems and all. I, I, you know, I still have fun with her. I have fun with her in the randomizer. Whenever she comes up, I'm like, yeah, Melania, yeah! But, you know, she's... She does have some big problems that I think have some relatively easy fixes. I think there might be one or two other tweaks that I've mentioned in the past that I think could make her better, but I, I think those are kind of the big three that I think of. Yo, quick Benj, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome back to the bunch. Enjoy the emotes. Woo! 
I don't think waterfowl should be removed. There should just be some conditions attached to the attack. Okay, I I'm talking a quick fix. A a an easy fix is just remove it. Like, it doesn't need to be there. If you want to, like, go full on, like, no, let's rework it so it's, you know, so it is fun and fair, it, it needs a lot of changes. It's possible. I don't think it's like, this is an unfixable move, but it just takes a lot more effort than I can give while in the middle of my speedrun. The random sad violin. It was uh, very sad how we were talking about Melania's uh, waterfowl. I guess I don't. I don't know. If, I don't think anything bad happened. I think we're fine. <laughs> oh, it's so sad, <laughs> bro. I do think, uh, in terms of just the specific, uh, oh, there should be conditionals. <laughs> Unless those conditionals are, uh, like, you know, making sure that whenever she uses it, you can guarantee to, something like that, which would be hard to program in. I think conditionals aren't necessarily a great fix, because then the player has to know the conditionals for them to be effective. So if you... If you don't know what the conditionals are, or you guess wrong at what they are, then there's kind of no benefit to them. You're still just going to get randomly killed by it and not know why. So I think that's like a, you know, a potential solution, but a really hard one to accurately implement. Okay, that was not my favorite phase one. Quite a good phase too. I knew you do it. Finally, the last hero weapon is in my hand. Thank you, thank you. Yo, 0.51% PB chance. Pretty much guaranteed. My favorite phase one equals gold. Well, we skipped a stargazer, which saved us 10 seconds, and we only golded by seven. So you can see it, it should have been three seconds off our gold. Uh, we just got to skip a stargazer. And the phase two was like pretty beautiful, so. Did you feel An ergo amplification effect. Coming from across Central Station. I want to give you a to talk about something again. Please.
reducing its damage would go a long way. I disagree, personally. I, I think... I think even if something is low damage, if there's... If, if it's, like, low damage, but you're forced Good to take it, there. I'm still annoyed. I still don't like Nihil. I still think Nihil's a bad move. You lost, little lamb. Hand over all you've got. Even though it's not gonna kill you, it just it uses like two of your heals. Maybe three if you, you know, use them for each and every Nihil, like it's fine, it's not gonna kill you, but I'm still annoyed. <laughs> I still don't think it's good design. Sorry. Even if Is more of a gimmick than an attack because of the anti nihil physic. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's exactly what it is. If the anti nihil physic fully negated it rather than just reducing it to very little damage, um, and was more sort of obvious, had like an obvious quest line as you're getting to Moog to potentially get it, yeah, I'd be like, all right. I don't think it would still be my favorite thing, but it'd be like, ah, oh, that's, that's more reasonable. But it still does damage to you anyway, and uh, it's like very non-obvious how to get it, so I'm still like, meh, don't like it. better at that. Is that like Moog a lot? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Let's go! Should have equipped a little earlier. It's okay. Okay, that, and then I need you. You.
quite get that off in time. The hotel is under attack. Everyone is in danger. Head to the hotel and hurry. Communication through ergo. An interesting, interesting parlor trick. trick. Quite. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, uh, so there's something horrible in front of the hotel. It might be worse than what we saw at the cathedral. All right, tighten up your springs and let's go. White, what we were looking for, but uh, good enough. A again, it's a gold because we skipped so a stargazer. The fight Let's itself was not oh, not friends. quite <laughs> perfect. Not a fake gold. It is a real gold. It's just not like a good real gold. Could be a better real gold. Sophia and Millicent have the same voice actress. I, I, I did know that. I forgot that, but I did know that at one point. Uh, they attacked the hotel but didn't destroy the music player. Of course, how could you destroy the music player? That would just be rude. Oh, oh give me a sec. Geppetto has been kidnapped. I'm sorry, I certainly might play this. I'm the and Liza P wants to be Elden Ring so bad they're stealing their voice actors. SMH. I apologize. Hotel. Welcome. This. I shall. Have... Welcome. This. I shall. Have... Why did we skip the Stargazer? Because it's Welcome. faster. You're here. You are here. Forgot to sell. Welcome. Not the worst mistake to make. Oh, it did split. Whatever. It just splits later than I used to split. Okay, I should have let it auto split. Oh well. Who would have guessed all this was beneath the hotel? Could this really Wait. be is, the relic of Trismegistus? Trismegistus? Is this the relic of Trismegistus? You know, the strangest feeling. I, I think I've been here before. Maybe I haven't gotten all my memories back after all. I don't know exactly what's going on, but someone was dragged away from here. We have to follow. Hurry! Pigwell, 
cover always looks out for me. I'm gonna smash you to pieces! Very weird fight, but very pretty good. Gaming. Uh... Okay, I give up. Just don't kill me. It was a total attack. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood, the Fox, the Cat, and Maladoro too. too. I don't even want to guess what they might be planning, pal. This way must lead to their headquarters. Already more than a minute Shall ahead. We? Yup. Hey, look. That lever resembles. Yes. It seems we can use it to call a submarine. Go back. It was here the last time. Ooh, maybe you're the good luck charm. What is world record? 135.15. So it's 41 seconds faster. So we are currently on pace to beat the world record by 23 seconds. That's just the pace, though. That, that doesn't guarantee that the rest of the run will go well. Listen, pal. Nice landing, but uh, let's not make it a habit. What, what the? the? Hey, hey, it's, it's Sophia. Sophia. I am your I betrothed I felt by spark after images of memories. Rage on the seaside okay. because of Ergo. Oh, I'm focusing. Please. Don't you worry. Be careful. We are in focus mode. We're not in stress out for no reason mode, but we are in focus mode. Why don't we Why don't we friend? His, His name, name is, is Romeo. Romeo. Hi, call me Lampwick. He didn't? Don't say. Let's start talking about this. Oh, she's here. Grab her. Grab her. Please, uh, So annoying. Germany, get rid of them. Get rid of them. I'm off. All right, we don't need the stargazer. Uh, even though I'd like to have it, it would be, be real comfy to have, but... I don't need it. I don't need it. Nice to see you, you using mouse and keyboard. Oh, yeah. The superior interface. The superior, indeed. Superior.
beautiful. A bad limbo dancer walks into the bar. Ow. Why would they do that? Um, I actually shouldn't have done it here. I should have done it after the next stargazer, but whatever. Or after the next uh, thing. I could have gotten very slightly more out of my table. Oh, forgot to switch weapon. Skip. Yeah, it's a good skip. Anything scary left? Uh, two of the harder bosses. Not the hardest, uh, probably, bosses, but... Two of the harder bosses are left. Rest of the stargazer here. I think I do. If I'm, if I think, I think anytime you're completely out. I think I made a mistake, and we're gonna need one more stargazer than we should have Whoa. because I rested at the is wrong one earlier. But wow, fighting is not actually. <laughs> My sister, you have ultimately. Yeah, plus ten because I rested earlier. We do still rest here.
Glad I did not get killed there. It would not have ended the run, but it sure would have been bad. Spamming this runner, Ain getting the no hit. Well, considering this could happen right now, uh, is Ain on a good run this very moment? <laughs> A 22% chance. Five heals, so might as well just use one. We're all repaired. I just got here. If the run dies, I take the blame. All right, I'm blaming you. Got it. You either get it or you don't. So fifty percent chance, right? Now that someone else is taking the blame, now I don't have to try anymore.
I'm not gonna listen. I'm focused. No listening. Hydrate. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know of a time when I can hydrate. I may just have to forgo that request. I maybe could have done it on this ladder, but I wasn't sure how long bless it was. You. Thank you for the bless. But if it's not for once, it's not saying it's nice. Go on. It's I don't know. I don't speak. I see. Put an Remember. Expect from a mountain of dead puppets. Is this parry? That was that was my little swag parry. That's the strat that I uh, I try for every time. But uh, this is the first time I've hit it in like a good run this far in. I think I hit I think I hit it like one time in a run that died to Manus or something, maybe. Okay. We do our final resting. Just to get our Fable Catalyst back. And uh, might as well level up, I suppose, while we're here. Here we go.
Well, that's it. Good luck, Mitch. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. I do. You can I just if you do it give. I believe we thank you. There it is! 134-24! Almost a minute world record. Took it back. Minute and a half saved from our previous one. World's first. Sub 135. Uh, uh and Honestly, sub-134 might be possible, <laughs> which is wild. Uh, I'm not saying we're going to do that, but, you know, it might be possible. Sub-134-30. Yes, yes. Let's go. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's check out the IGT just because. Hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Let me let me do a big old hydrate because we missed one earlier. I have a fun. If I was willing to take the blame, then I deserve some credit. <laughs> easy. Congrats. True. Mitch. Thank thank you, Flynn, for being the entire reason we uh got the record here. All right, let's just see. 137 to 39. IGT. Totally unnecessary to show, but, you know, might as well show it anyway.